Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you, a complete placement solution. So friends, in this video, we are going to talk about that TCS has removed question wise time limit. So if you remember earlier for aptitude, so we had a time limit for, I mean, the particular question like one minute or 1.4 minutes. So the recent exam, which happened on 5th of December. So we observed that the question wise time limit has been removed okay there was only sectional time limit and i will be also discussing why interview was not conducted for many and the direct offer later was generated for them and what will be the expected cutoff for tcs nqt examination so friends if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and click on bell icon as well uh, so that you will be getting all the updates and also we are putting a lot of effort and bringing a lot more videos so uh, that will give us a motivation okay now so friends uh all the students were definitely worried uh that sir for every particular question there is a time limit particular time limit is set right so it is uh one minute or 1.4 minute or something like that okay now so the examination of tcs nqt that was free nqt okay so that was free nqt so the examination which was conducted okay so the exam which was conducted on 5th of December. Okay. So we saw that definitely there was this time limit. Okay. So the time limit for the particular question was not there. Okay. So like for one question, one minute or for one question, 60 seconds, uh, I mean, uh, 50 seconds or one question, 1.4 minute, whatever the time limit for one particular question was there. So that was definitely removed. And this was the reason many students were able to perform well. Okay. So uh, going forward, uh, we do not know, but by seeing the pattern of uh, like the exam, which was conducted on 5th of December. So we can say that in future might be TCS will be completely removing this now for some of the uh, definitely some of the days or some of the shift or some of the batch, the time limit has been already removed. Okay. So now you do not have to worry. So you have only sectional time limit, sectional time limit means uh, suppose if we have aptitude in the first round, suppose okay then suppose the time limit is uh 24 minutes or whatever now so you have to solve whatever questions uh, you can do in 24 minutes okay so after that i have put some charts also so whatever i have discussed with one of the candidate uh, and she has got the direct offer letter from tcs okay so direct offer letter from tcs uh, what is what i mean that so there was no interview conducted for her so we will see uh, we will uh, you know go through her chat also and uh, we will be able to know more in detail so she had got direct offer letter without any kind of interview okay so without any kind of interview now so uh, only sectional time limit was there for her so the exam which was conducted on 5th of 12 so going forward you may assume that the section limit will be removed okay now friends why interview was not conducted for many so what tcs uh, did here okay so tcs conducted the examination and in that examination if somebody scored well okay so you can see so she has uh you know done so i'm sorry so there is some uh, typing mistake is there basically so reasoning 30 questions and she did more than 26 in verbal 24 question uh she did around 21 to 22 numerical there was 26 questions out of that she did 22 to 24 programming a logic 10 question i marked more than six and in coding question two questions were there and both were executed okay so this is the rough idea what she has given see she also do not know uh like uh, she also does not know basically like how many questions she has done it correctly but this is what this is what she attempted okay and also i have 98 uh percentage in 10th basically 97 percent is in plus two and graduation 75 percent so by seeing this percentage also you can get the idea that she is from kerala because kerala is uh definitely the literacy rate is quite high and uh, that shows like 98 percent 97 percent marks in 10th 12th and all okay graduation definitely uh, she has less marks now so tcs is tcs considered this time definitely on 5th of uh, uh you know december so tcs has consider that if we have good marks right so if you have good marks in your uh, 10th 12th and even in the written test also if we have performed well then tcs were directly uh you know given the interview see i'm not telling for everyone see i have communicated to few of the student and based on that i have got the data and that data i am definitely putting in front of you 
okay so why interview was not conducted because of uh, the marks they have scored in the examination because of the 10th 12th and graduation marks they have so based on that also tcs would have uh, directly generated the offer letter okay and c has gonna join tcs on uh, 29th of december that means like another six days for her so she wrote the exam on 5th of december and now she is going to join on 28th of uh, 29th of december okay next next is what is expected cutoff so friends uh see uh expected cutoff will be always decided as i say in each and every video so it will be always normalized so you should not ask anyone that sir i have done seven question i have done 10 question i have done 15 question i have done 20 question you should never ask this okay see the reason i will tell you suppose there is 40 questions in aptitude okay now if you'll ask anyone many youtube channel uh many website many platform they will say 70 percent cutoff do you really know what is this 70 percent cutoff no see 70 percent cutoff does not mean you have to do 28 question right please mind it so you do not have to do 28 question right see 70 percent cutoff means they are talking about the normalized one the normalized one so suppose the topper suppose the topper in the exam or one of your friend who is the topper so he has done total 30 questions in aptitude so the maximum number of questions are uh, uh, is correct by someone is only 30 now so they will calculate 70 percent of 30 is 21 so you do not have to do 28 question correctly you have to do only 21 question correctly for getting 70 percent so if anybody claims that the cutoff is 70 percent the cutoff is 80 percent the cutoff is 60 percent please do not listen to them okay first of all do not ask anyone see you could attempt whatever is possible so you should always attempt whatever is possible whatever maximum you can do you should not depend upon someone okay please keep that in mind so this is this will be your expected cutoff and why interview was not conducted for many because they had a very good scores see whatever i'm telling is expected uh, i mean we are just communicating to multiple students and we are getting some data and presenting in front of you but yes the actual data definitely TCS will be having. The actual answers definitely TCS will be having. And also, there will be uh, many people will be there, right? So there will be many students will be there. Uh, those who will be like asking different different kind of questions. Sir, I wrote this uh, exam on this particular day. I wrote, I gave this interview, but there is no communication from the particular company. Okay. Now, so definitely what i wanted to tell here is so friends you need to wait you need to communicate to tcs because all this information definitely we do not have only tcs is having all this information okay but anyway whatever we come to know whatever we we try to conclude something from the result from the statement of the student and that's how we do okay so friends all the best and whatever queries you have again if we have any queries in respect to tcs please send it to them and if we come to anything, we will directly put on YouTube so that it will help you a lot. So thank you, friends. Take care. And we will meet soon in the next video if I get any kind of other information.